you know what? I'm tired of these tech YouTubers telling you what to upgrade to your computer. Whether it's for gaming, video editing, all kinds of stuff, blah, 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 blah. You know, I'm not some guy who just builds computers for fun. Sure, there are some really good people out there, and if they show you actual procedure and what they do in testing this stuff, that's perfectly fine. Well, what separates me is that I actually have a degree in computers. And not only that, I have many, 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 many years of experience working in IT. So yeah, you can tr choose to trust me or you can choose to trust that one guy that just builds his computers and now suddenly he knows what he's talking about. Look, look if you have any questions and you need actual help, ask me in the comments below. I will help you personally. What you're about to see are some of the best, the best computer upgrades and the most common ones that you need to do on your computer. The only thing I'm going to ask from you is to click the like button. That's all I'm asking. That's, that's all. It only takes one second. Just one second to click the like button. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. This is top five PC upgrades. This video is made with help of my community. Thank you guys so much for voting on this. All right, let's get into it. Number one is a solid state upgrade. Solid state upgrade is a huge upgrade for any computer that has a magnetic style of hard drive. So for those who are not familiar, even if you have a recent computer, chances are you may have a magnetic type of storage, which means that this type of hard drive is mechanical. What's inside are disks that spin which causes them, which allows it to read or write data on your computer. But since it's mechanical, it can be slow. This is why upgrading to a solid state upgrade, solid state drive can make a huge difference when it comes to loading, not just loading to your operating system, but loading any applications that you're using on your computer, whether it's, for example, for video editing, for gaming, or what have you. Also, chances are that copying and moving data from computer on your computer is going to be a lot faster with solid state upgrade. Another great example of this is that when you are getting Windows updates, sometimes it can take hours to update your computer. You guys probably seen this and probably at some point stared at a blue screen of your computer where it says Windows is updating. And then it has to restart. And then again, once it restarts, you're looking at Windows is updating. Well, guess what? With a solid state drive, instead of waiting for hours, you can do this within minutes. A huge, huge upgrade, not to mention if you upgrade to even a better solid state drive, which is M.2 NVMe. I have a hugely popular video on that if you want to check it out as well. All right, let's move on. At number two, we have a CPU upgrade. CPU upgrade can be a massive upgrade for all kinds of computers. One example is a laptop. A laptop may have two cores, which is actually fairly typical nowadays, even for brand new computers. They would have two physical cores and two virtual processing threads, which is also known as hyper-threading with Intels. So the reason laptops, for example, have only two cores a lot of times is because of the power and battery consumption. On desktops, typically nowadays, you, you can have two cores, but it's pretty rare nowadays. But most of the time, you would have four at minimum, which is still a lot better than two on a laptop. So think of it this way. Think of having two cores as a road that has two lanes. On that road, there are so many cars that can go by, right? You have two lanes, and doesn't matter how many you stack behind each other, they all still have to wait to process or to move that those cars, or in our case, data. However, if you have, for example, four cores, now you suddenly can move twice as many cars and twice as much data. And it's even better once you get to six, eight, 10, 12, 16, or higher. Your computer can definitely take advantage of all of those cores, especially true with Windows operating system. Some applications don't necessarily take advantage of multiple cores, but most newer do. So for example, if you are running some kind of heavy intensive CPU application that requires full power, you will hugely benefit that. This is especially true for video editing. And I say that because I do a lot of video editing and I've noticed a huge difference with that. And I'm sure you guys have as well, but it's also true when it comes to gaming. So if you want to upgrade your PC, 
to more cores i definitely recommend to do so and nowadays i would recommend at least eight processing threads with four physical cores at minimum meaning that for example if you have an intel with four cores uh, it's good to get the one that has hyper threading which gives you eight processing threads this will ability this will also give you a multitasking capability which means that you can open up a lot of different applications at once and then your computer won't be bothered by that at all meaning that it won't slow down or anything so looking into a CPU upgrade is definitely a good idea especially if you have anything that's less than i5 or equivalent in AMD at number three we have a GPU upgrade so GPU upgrades are incredibly important for people who are into gaming. Yes, GPU upgrade can help some applications that can take advantage, for example, of CUDA cores that are found in NVIDIA GPUs. However, it's mainly for video editors or graphics designers, 3D designers, 3D model makers, but it's mainly for people who are into gaming when it comes to PC part of it. So upgrading your computer with a GPU is going to make a huge difference when it comes to gaming. So what happens is, yes, even uh, you know i5s, i3s, i5s, i7s, i9s, even the most expensive CPU will have some kind of GPU embedded, but only small part of that CPU will have dedicated space on that CPU die that is going to be dedicated to that GPU and what that translates into is that it's going that's not going to be the best performance it's going to be very low end performance that gives you just the basic ability to run video and yes you can probably run some games at 720p maybe 1080p I highly doubt that but let's say you do manage to somehow make for example Counter-Strike run at 720p chances are it will be running at low settings and you'd be lucky to get 30 fps which in my opinion is not a fun time but then again majority of other games will not you will not be able to play whatsoever so investing some money into gpu might be a good option for you even before cpu upgrade it really depends but if you're just into gaming and your computer is not fast enough upgrading the GPU might be a better idea than upgrading the CPU if it's just for gaming of course if you can afford to upgrade your CPU and GPU at the same time you can have a wonderful time of course not to uh, forget about RAM which is the next thing we will talk about at number four we have a RAM upgrade here's what happens when you don't have enough RAM your computer starts slowing down the application that you have open is suddenly running slow or your video game is suddenly stuttering or your video game is taking a long time to load your computer is taking a long time to load this always happens because you don't have enough RAM to process all the data that needs to be stored into RAM which is also known as random access memory the reason applications and operating system stores data or or loads data into ram is because ram is incredibly fast it's the fastest temporary memory storage that's on your computer and that's why we have ram on our pc so let's say you open up any type of application or video game that application is going to store itself onto the ram because ram is the fastest place to access itself right you understand that i'm sure you do guys so having more ram allows you to not only open up multiple applications at the same time but allows you to run that application optimally so let's say for example you are running a game and suddenly you see this slowdowns or like there's a jerking on the on the video and you're like what's going on why is my video game you know doing these hiccup action and stuff like that that's because your computer ran out of ram there's a really good chance so when your computer runs out of ram what it does is starts to store or it tries to use your hard drive as a virtual ram and since I've already mentioned it, now you know already that hard drive is way slower than RAM because there is nothing faster than the RAM on your computer. 
but since it ran out of RAM, an application actually needs more RAM, but you don't have it, it decides to create virtual or fake RAM using your hard drive, which is really slow. And that kind of goes back to if you had a mechanical magnetic drive, it becomes even slower. And this virtual RAM is called page file, as you can see on this screenshot. Yes, every operating system actually does create a certain amount of page file, which is okay, but the last thing you want is to run an application off of a page file because it's incredibly slow. Your computer should have at least 16 gigabytes of RAM, in my opinion, if you want to have a really good time. You'll be fine with 8 gigabytes if you're not doing any gaming, but if you're doing gaming or video editing or any heavy application usage, then you want to have at least 16 gigabytes of RAM. At number five, we have power supply unit upgrade. So why would you want to upgrade your power supply? The main reason is because you're upgrading to a GPU. The GPU can take uh, quite a bit of power, additional power from your PC. So you want to have that additional power just so that your power supply doesn't get overwhelmed and overheat and just burn out. So for example, uh, if you're looking at some kind of a mid-range card, for example, RTX 2060 that I have here, is that it recommends, the manufacturer, the NVIDIA recommends 300 watts of system power. But what they mean is actually uh, 300 uh, watts as in total system power used uh, by your PC at full power, meaning let's say your CPU is running at 100%, your GPU is running at 100%, and the system is not taking more than 300 watts. So that means that your PC has to have a power supply strong enough to run this, otherwise it's just going to burn out the power supply itself. It's not going to burn out your motherboard or CPU or GPU or anything like that, because the power supply itself has a safety feature within it that will just basically it would just either the fuse will go out or it will just burn out and power supplies are fairly cheap and if you're worried about it you can certainly upgrade your power supply but a lot of times when you do get a new GPU chances are your current power supply may be good enough maybe not it really depends on the on how much uh, your CPU is pulling when it comes to wattage but generally speaking when you upgrade your GPU, you want to, you might want to upgrade your power supply as well. But, you know, if you just have the money just for the GPU for now, chances are you'll be okay. But you can kind of predict and expect that that power supply at some point will go bad. But, you know, they're not that expensive. So I, if you're interested uh, in recommendations when it comes to that. I like the EVGA brand, but there are other ones that are also pretty good. Anyways, there are links in the description for any of the stuff that I recommend uh, for you guys that you might. I prefer good brand stuff, and I would not recommend anything that's just kind of, you know, off-brand that's not good, because trust me, I tried this stuff before. Anything that's super cheap just simply doesn't last and it's not good. Well, there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you find this helpful. Again, if you need help, let me know. Let me know. I'm not going to ask you to subscribe and all that crap. I'm going to help you. I'm going to earn your subscription. So ask me anything in the comments below. Ask me anything in the comments below. I'm, I want to earn your subscription. Ask me in the comments below. That's it. Take care. Good luck. Hey guys, I uh, just one last thing. I, I, I want to let you know that I'm actually not angry like this at all. Uh, this is just me kind of trying a different style of video. I hope nobody actually thinks that I'm angry. I'm actually very friendly and outgoing. I just, I just wanted to experiment to see how this video comes out. You know, aside from, you know how people usually have those, you know, intros like, Hey, what's up? My name is Irvin. Uh, Welcome to my video. I will show you this fun stuff and you know this and that. I actually just wanted to make a video that's kind of like totally different, uh, uh, I guess, vibe, if you will. You know what I mean? I, I hope nobody's offended or anything like that. I just, I was just having some fun. Anyways, yeah, if you really do need help, let me know and I'll gladly help you. All right, guys, take care.